What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to another top 5 video. Today I'm counting down my top 5 TV shows that included queer women in it. <laughs> So this is going to be counting down my favourite shows, not necessarily the characters. I am going to be doing a top five couples of the year, which is going to include couples from TV shows and movies. Uh, but this is going to be sort of my favourite TV shows. I have to say, I made this list without sort of reviewing it too much. Like, I just put down my top five and then I just left it. Because I, I, I figured if I reviewed it and I like went over it, I could have just continuously changed this list like over and over and over again because there have been so many good TV shows this year. Um, so I just sort of did the list without thinking and then just went with my initial instincts. So with that being said, let's get into number five. Number five on my list is Sense8. Um, Sense8 is such a... I really, really, really love Sense8. It gives me such like... <sighs> It gives me, like, like a sense of, like, family and community watching it. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so powerful in, like, it, it shows that we're, like, stronger together, you know? I just, like, I really, really love that about Sensei. Also, just, like, the show in general just, like, blows my mind. Like, it just, it takes me away from life you know it just it takes me on a journey it just it fully like gets me invested and just like i get lost in the show it's just so gorgeous it's so well filmed it's just incredible i really 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 love sense eight and i'm so bummed that like it got cancelled after season two um but i am very very excited about the the two hour finale but yeah sense eight season two was uh <sighs> It, it it holds a, it, it holds a special place in my heart. Um, but yeah. Number four, I'm putting in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Now, as you guys probably know, if you're subscribed to this channel, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a new show to me. Uh, I only just started watching it like a month ago, a few weeks ago, and I only just caught up um, with season five as it finished. Um, and I just, I'm so like, I, I don't know why I didn't start watching this show earlier because it's just so funny and so good. I just really, really love this show. I just love that you can watch it and enjoy it without having to worry. Like, you can just enjoy all the jokes that they make without worrying if there's going to be, like, like an uncomfortable joke, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Like, just, like, it, it, it's funny without having to be mean, right? You could just, like, totally just put it on and just... Just enjoy it, you know, without having to to worry about what joke they're gonna say. So I really, really love that about Brooklyn Nine Nine. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad that I finally watched it and I'm finally up to date with it. Um, this season has been great, as you guys probably know. Been especially enjoying the last couple episodes. Um, but yeah, it's just ugh, I just really, really love it and I just highly recommend it to everyone. Number three is Marvel's Runaways. Now this one kind of caught me by surprise. I was, I, obviously I was gonna watch it because of the gay, because that's who I am. <laughs> but like, the show has actually really grabbed me. And like, I don't know why. I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know. I and Maybe because of the cute gay. It's probably, that probably plays like a big part in it. Um, but I don't know. It's just like a really cute teen superhero show that like, it's just cute. It's really cute. And I'm definitely like invested in like all the characters. Like as, as oblivious and as Chase is, right? I don't hate him. And, and that's like, <laughs> that's coming from like someone that knows, like, that has seen that actor come from faking it. And I have my thoughts on faking it. <laughs> but Chase doesn't annoy me in the show. He's oblivious. But I hope, like, I hope he's oblivious doesn't end badly, right? I hope he just sort of accepts, accepts Carolina as time goes on, right? Um, as she comes out. Um, but aside from that, I do enjoy the characters. Like, I'm invested in all the characters. I love Gert. I really, really love Gert. Obviously, I love Carolina, Nico, Alex. Molly is... I'm taking a little bit of time to warm up to. I've heard some people say, like, Molly in the comics is, like, so different from Molly in the TV show. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I don't hate, hate Molly. Just some of her decisions... I question <laughs> but the show in general it just it, it kind of took me by surprise like I'm I'm just looking forward to it each episode and um, 
I wasn't expected to get so invested in this show. Now, I do think that is this probably ranks so high on my list because it's so fresh in my mind. Like I said, I didn't really review this list because I didn't want to spend too much time changing everything. Um, so it could be it's very high on my list because it's so, like, it's still happening, it's so fresh. Um, but still, I really have been enjoying Marvel's Runaways. Number two is the bold type. Oh man, I love the bold type. What, like that, this, the bold type was quite a unexpected love. Like Marvel's Runaways, I really wasn't expecting too much from it, I guess. Um, but watching it, I just, I was blown away with it. I just, I love, I love the female empowerment in that show. Like, there's so many women in that show, right? There's so many women. And yet there were very few, like, just, like, women pitted against each other. I think there was, there was one with um Sutton when she was trying to go for that the the like the assistant job right um and there was another person trying to go for that job um and so they kind of butted heads then but really that's like the only one that can stand out to me the, the big boss initially you're like oh she's gonna be the bitchy big boss that everyone's afraid of super fucking supportive the three main girls they're just oh I just they're their friendship goals goals. I just, I really, really loved just like how the show made me feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I really do love that they really didn't pit women against each other for no reason. It's just, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing because like shows do it so unnecessarily because there's this like stereotype that women fucking hate each other, which is not true. So yeah, the bold type. <sighs> Loved it, loved it, loved it. Obviously, big fan of Cat. Cat just like Cat speaks to me on a whole other level. I relate to Cat so much. It it kind of scares me. Um, but yeah, loved her storyline as well. And I'm very excited that it got renewed for two more seasons. So we've got two and three already set. So I'm very excited to see more of the show. And number one on my list, uh, this should not be a surprise, I don't think, is Winona Earp. Oh, Winona Earp. I, this show, I'm so glad this show exists. I am so happy that this show exists. As cheesy and as ridiculous as this show is, I just love it. I love it so much. And I feel like the biggest reason why I love this show is because of the people around it, right? The cast are incredible. The fandom is incredible. I just love that I can make, like, just fan theory the shit out of this show. Just make up ridiculous fan theories that, looking back, none of them came true. <laughs> but I can, I can make these fan theories, right? And the, and the fandom doesn't attack you for it like other shows do. They might not agree with it. They have their own fan theories, right? Um, but like the whole fandom in general is just so supportive of each other and I feel like that comes from like the cast and crew of the show because they're just so supportive of like the fandom and of each other. It's just such a loving show and I love it. I just... Uh, it just makes me happy that it exists. And we've got another season coming and I'm so excited. Oh, it just... <laughs> it just, it makes me feel good and it, it, it just, I can just fully invest in the show without having to, without having to, um, what's the word, like, justify myself, right, to, to people in the fandom or whatever. Um, yeah, it just, it's good. It's good. It's good. But yeah, that's my top five list. Like I said, if I, if I had spent more time sort of reviewing it. I have no doubt that I could have put other shows in here and taken shows out. It's just, there has been so many shows this week, uh, this year, I should say. Um, it's definitely hard to pick five, so I just said, I'm gonna do it first five that I think of, right? First five. Go with my instincts, um, and go with it. But, yeah, definitely other shows that have, I've just loved this year as well. But I'd like to know what's on your list, what's your top five shows of this year that include queer women in it. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's about it from me. I'm going to be doing later this week a top five uh, queer movies um, of the year. And then next week, um, we're getting on to the last week of December. That's crazy. It's going by so quickly. Um, but yeah, next week I'm going to do top five couples of 2017. So yeah, look for those as well as my runaway videos and any other videos that I do. Um, so subscribe if you're not like this, like this video if you haven't. And if you liked the video, <laughs> I mean, if you didn't like the video, you don't have to hit that like button. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye. <laughs>